On the eve of his 100th day in office, President Joe Biden delivered a speech tonight to a joint session of Congress. Yeah, before he started, he acknowledged the history being made on this night. Madam Vice President. No president has ever said those words from this podium. No president has ever said those words. And it's about time. Speech also had a unique twist due to the pandemic. The audience was limited to promote social distancing. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us here tonight. And Sean, you mentioned earlier the president had a lot to talk about tonight, and he certainly did. Yeah, I think his motto was go big or go <laughs> home. The president embraced big government, pitching nearly $4 trillion in new spending, on top of the almost $2 trillion Congress approved last month. Money for everything from free preschool to free community college, all paid for, he says, by the wealthy, corporations, and tax cheats. America is on the move again. Even as he delivered his address before a limited crowd of masked lawmakers, President Biden argued we're emerging from the pandemic. Everyone over the age of 16, everyone is now eligible to get vaccinated right now, right away. Go get vaccinated, America. The economy needs an injection, too, of cash, says the president, and lots of it. The American Jobs Plan, a $2 trillion investment to put people back to work, building roads, bridges, water lines, broadband, and an electric vehicle charging network. The American Jobs Plan is a blue-collar blueprint to build America. Nearly 90 percent of the infrastructure jobs created in the American Jobs Plan do not require a college degree. The plan also includes billions of dollars to help with home care for the elderly, while the American Family Plan invests nearly $2 trillion on families and kids. From free preschool to free community college, paid family and medical leave, child care assistance, and child tax credits for almost every parent. How do we pay for my jobs and family plan? A question Republicans and even some Democrats are asking. Biden says simple, crack down on tax cheats and increase taxes on the wealthy and corporations. I just want to be clear. From my perspective, doing nothing is not an option. The same, he says, applies to immigration reform, police reform, and gun control. I don't want to become confrontational, but we need more Senate Republicans to join the overall majority of Democratic colleagues. And close the loopholes required in background check purchases of guns. We need a ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. He called on Congress to pass a police reform bill named after George Floyd by the anniversary of his death next month and to pass the immigration reform bill he sent them the day he took office. Let's argue over it. Let's debate it. But let's act. Many of the president's proposals would be rolled out over 10 years, and states would need to kick in money for some of them, too. His tax and spend policy, a non-starter with Republicans, which means he will need all 50 Democrats in the Senate to pass his plans, and some of them are also concerned about the price tag.